What's up, Chuck? Not much. I'm getting ready to save some money. Which tooth is coming out? Big molar right here. Big fat, juicy one. It's crazy. <laughs> I thought I used the vice grip so I don't don't slip. Okay, I got it. Code blue. Code blue. Oh man, he's gonna snap it off. God. I don't think he got all of it. Oh, hold still. Oh, he broke half of it off. Oh no. That was a lot of fun. So, commentary on watching the the self-made extraction on that video. If you're gonna resort to taking your own tooth out, I would at least at least ask us which tooth to take out. <laughs> I think that would be uh, rule number one. Uh, surprisingly, uh, you know, even if a tooth is loose, it doesn't always have to be taken out. Most of the time, it's just due to periodontal disease, and once your gums heal, the tooth actually stabilizes, which is really cool. If we're thinking about taking the tooth out, as you notice on the video, he actually only got half of it. So he got the top half, but the bottom half is where the actual infection is. And now it's gonna become a bigger problem. Uh, so a little bit scary there. Um, also, if you see the, the tool he's using, it's, it's a little rusty. So we don't really know um, if he had, you know, had his typical shots like tetanus involved to make sure he's not gonna get, you know, either a staph infection or, you know, get tetanus so you can get a pretty serious bacterial infection from it. I really enjoyed watching that video. Uh, remember, uh, Dr. Dune and Dr. Brisky and myself, we are here. Uh, we're here for, for advice, free advice if you need it, uh, to get you in the right direction. And uh, we'll make it way less painless. <laughs> I promise that. That was a lot of fun. <laughs>